Another one of my friends is going to do another little impromptu. This is going to be an impromptu. Uh, I don't have a lesson. I mean, I don't have a title for it, but the name of it, you know, uh, the, the theme that I want this lesson to contain is basically that um, we're not in this truth for no reason. And, you know what I'm saying, we have a reward for pushing this truth. We in this truth, you know what I'm saying, hoping that the Lord will redeem us from this flesh. Hoping that we can win your high with shot. That's why we counting everything right now as nothing. And, um, you know, we basically waiting to, re to be redeemed from this flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? We, um, you know, we understand that we stuck in these bodies in that. Hell, these bodies ain't coming with us where we going. Lord willing, we're of the elect, you know, and, uh, and the one third. That being said, I'm just going to get right into the lesson with uh, Romans, the eighth chapter. Catching hell is basically a theme in this lesson, too. It's like that, you know, we're not catching hell for no reason. The Lord dealing with us as he deals with sons. As the scripture said, I think that's the Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Now, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a reward to be chastened by the Lord. It's a reward for him to chasten you, for him to chasten you and improve your fear in him. You know what I'm saying? It's a reward to have his fear. So, with Romans, the 8th chapter... I'm going to just start at the first verse. Um, there is, this is Romans 8. There is no, there is, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach, Yahweh, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You know, you can't condemn the elders. You can't condemn brothers. You know what I'm saying? We walk, we're not walking after the flesh. And we, you know, we in Yahweh, Shah, Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? So like the scriptures say, you know, brothers try to bring up the thing about, um, the elders bringing out the thing about, you know, the, the year prophecy, to, the, the, the year 2000 prophecy thing, man. The elders was walking in the spirit. You can't condemn them for that. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you to uh, discern the times. You know what I'm saying? And to be a watchman. That's what the elders was doing. You know, when you come into this truth, you will feel like the world from the end right then just because you watching and you on your watch now. You know what I'm saying? So... It's just, that was just being in the spirit with that man, but just going, going back into the scriptures. For the law of the spirit of life in, the, in, in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, has made me free from the law of sin and death. So when you come into this truth, you free from the law. You're not free from following it, but you free from being put to death immediately for breaking the law. You know what I'm saying? That's the grace that we have in Yahweh Shai. And grace is a time allotted, a time period allotted for you to come back. Unto these law, statutes, and commandments, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that is. This is for eight, Romans 8 and verse 3. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, Yahweh sending his own son in the likeness of in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin and in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I want to say that that's saying that Yahweh Shah came down here, you know, to basically put it in, to put us into a position where we can keep the law and righteousness by walking, you know, by following the law and being in Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only way we cannot be condemned immediately. Yahweh Shah is our savior. He is our mediator to Yahweh. You can't come to Yahweh without coming to Yahweh Shah. That's why you always have to say Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai, man, coming in the name of Yahweh Shai. That's our mediator. That's our Lord and our Savior. Our, he, Yahweh Shai is the Prince of Peace. You know what I'm saying? So, this is eight Romans 8 and verse 5. For they that after the flesh do the minds, do the mind, do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's why when you um when you not in this truth, man, you dead. You know what I'm saying? When the Lord is not quickening your mind through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, you are dead. You know what I'm saying? And like um that's why when the Lord say, you know, when you follow come and come and follow me, bear my yoke for it, it's you know what I'm saying, the the yoke of Yahweh Bah the yoke of Yahweh Shah is easy. So the uh, you know, speaking on that scripture, I, I don't know the scripture, Akim. Um, but actually, the Lord has blessed me to be able to actually just kind of go and get it. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look it up right quick. Give me a second, Naki. I'm Salakia. Con, con. This is um, Matthew 11 and 28 through 30. Matthew is 11 and 28 through 30. 11 and 28. Yeah, Yahweh, this is the words of Yahweh Shah. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn is truth, man. Learn, try to try to tie to the best of your ability, uh, your ability, Akim, to learn this Hebrew and speak to the Lord in Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's a light thing to be in this truth, you know what I'm saying, and to be chastised just a little bit when we know we worthy of death through the shit that we didn't did in the world, man. It's a light thing to be chastised, and then we're going to get chastised. And Lord willing, man, we get the kingdom. Man, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai is righteous in all his doings, man, because he chastises us enough to what we don't faint. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you be damn near finna faint, but the Lord lifts you right back up like, nah. I just tapped you a little bit, man. Get up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, put back on your breastplate. You know what I'm saying? Gird up thy loins like a man, like he told Joe. It's like when your father whoop your ass. You know, as the scripture said, we have, as we've had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, but roughly paraphrasing the scripture, how much more then should we not be in subjection to the father of spirits? The father of spirits is Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be in subjection to the Lord just as much more than we would be our father. You know, when you got a whooping from your father, man, it was out of love. It was because he loved you. Because if he wouldn't have whooped your ass, you would have been a fucking nigga in the world ready for ripe and ready for death, man. You know what I'm saying? So how much more the Lord, when he yanked us out of the world, brothers, you know, got that wicked ass woman that you was dealing with away from you, got wicked ass family members that wasn't no good for you anyway away from you. Wicked ass friends, he separated you and made you holy. To be separated is to be holy. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a jealous power, man. I'm going to get that right quick. So when you come into this truth, think it not a light thing to be separated, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of people who we may look up into the world and they be they highly esteemed to us and they, they are an abomination in the sight of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. So we just got to look at what Yahweh and Yahweh Shah esteem. As being um, as being worthy to be called elegant or whatever, or to have class, we can't discern things in our own mind. You know what I'm saying? Be ye not wise in your own in, in your own eyes. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. Um, I want to get that scripture. Salaki, so I just a second. This is Hebrews 12 and 9. That's the spirit. And um, just a second to get it, Aki. This is Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which correct. Actually, Aki, I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at 12, man. I'm going I'm to start at verse, this is verse 12. This is cha Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Why does it so easily beset us, Akin? Because we are in this fucking body. We in this disgusting ass, wicked ass, wretched ass flesh, man. So, and it says, and further, uh, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So you can't get in this truth and burn yourself out. You know, just, I'm going to just do videos all the time. I'm going to do this and that. Nah, man, you going to have to feed this flesh somehow, some way. You can't, you ain't got to be fucking wicked. But it's a balance with the Lord, and the false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. You got to run this race with patience. This is not a race of who is going to make it to the finish line first. This is a race of endurance. You know what I'm saying? And we have to endure it to the end. And, you know, the scriptures say the same. That's, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved, man. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, 
who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Why did Yahweh Shai endure the cross? He didn't want to because he prayed to Yahweh to Yahweh in the Garden of Yosemite. I think that's the name of it. Um, he prayed to him thrice that the Lord would, um, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord would let this just pass him by. But he went ahead and he he suffered it. Our Lord Yahweh Shai suffered it because he had things that he had to set up in the spirit world for us. And he knew what he had to do for us, man, for the elect. So Yahweh Shai, he took that. You know what I'm saying? And he went on up there. And right now, you know, he, he is uh, he's second in command under the heavenly father, Yahweh. Even Satan works for Yahweh Shai, man. So, looking to uh, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. He sits next to Yahweh on the right hand side. For consider him that endures such contradiction. We have to consider Yahweh Shai, Aki, of sinners against himself. Lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. We have to look at Yahweh Shai as a poster child for us. Job as well. First and foremost, Yahweh Shai, but Job as well. You know what I'm saying? Lest we faint. You know, the Lord was set a foot. You know, he was set before us for our learning and for our strength and for us to look at him and to not fail. You know what I'm saying? Ye have not resisted unto blood striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. You know, you can't come into this truth. Like, man, I kind of already know what's up. Or, you know, now you got to come to the Lord as a child. Like the scripture said, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. And I'm going to skip down to verse 6, Akiah. For whom the Lord loved, for whom Yahweh loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. One day, week, one week, Akim, you can feel like everything is going wrong. You slam your fucking hand in the car door. You might break your damn foot. You might break your phone. You might lose your job, man. All in the same time. But that hell comes upon you. Woo, woo, woo. It don't come upon you like, okay, like the Lord going to give it to you all at once like he did Job. You know what I'm saying? And as in the scriptures, it says how Job had one man coming and tell him one thing and another servant coming and tell him another thing right afterwards. It didn't come in. Into, it came in very short intervals of time, man. That was back to back to back that he caught that hell. Now, skipping down to this is Hebrews 12 and 7. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom Yahweh chasteneth, whom the Father chasteneth not? But if he be without chastisement, whereof are you, are you are are salaki all are partakers? Then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? So, yeah, you might break it. The Lord might cause you to break your leg. Man, it could be anything. But if we under subjection, if we in subjection of Yahweh, why Yahweh side, we're going to catch hell, but he's going to, we going to live, man. Let me get a scripture for that. Um, so lucky. I'm just, give me just a second. Lord gonna put us through, he's gonna put the man of the Lord through something entering into the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like we're gonna go all unpunished, man, just because we have this truth. This is uh this is a uh, Job 5 and 19. I can I'm gonna close it out here. This is just kind of like a little impromptu break lesson, you know what I'm saying? Um I want to get more, but this is the end of my break. I literally got like two minutes before I got to be back at the plantation, man. Fuck Esau, but here's what it is. This is Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven thou shalt no evil touch thee. So even though he going to, it says the Lord shall deliver thee in six troubles. You know what I'm saying? The Lord puts you in those troubles, man. Who was it that put uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the, to the furnace of fire? For his glory. 
Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah did that. And I'm going to get that right quick, man, because Yahweh Shah, I love bringing the scripture out. Yahweh Shah made a cameo appearance in this scripture, man. And that's Daniel, the third verse in the three and twenty. The third chapter in the 25th verse. I got, you know, that's one of them scriptures that's nailed to my heart. I, you know, I know y'all brothers got their favorite scriptures, man. This is Daniel's three. This is Daniel three and twenty-five. And he said, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of Yahweh. That son of Yahweh is Yahweh Shai, and that's who they saw, man. I'm gonna end this lesson. I'm gonna start um well, I'm going to end my lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwa Das, double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you, brothers, I say Shalom.